aims of the syllabus. This syllabus aims to 1. Make mathematics relevant to the interests and experiences of students by helping them to recognize mathematics in the local and global environment. 2. Help students appreciate the use of mathematics as a form of communication. 3. Help students acquire a range of mathematical techniques and skills and to foster and maintain the awareness of the importance of accuracy. For help students develop attitudes such as open-mindedness, resourcefulness, persistence and a spirit of inquiry. 5. Prepare students for the use of mathematics in future studies. 6. Help students foster a spirit of collaboration, not only with their peers but others within the wider um, community. 7. Help students apply the knowledge and skills acquired to solve problems in everyday situations. And 8. Integrate information, communication and technology, ICT, tools and skills in the teaching and learning processes. Now, the organization of the syllabus. The syllabus is arranged as a set of topics as outlined below. And each topic is defined by its specific objectives and content slash explanatory notes. It is expected that students would be able to master the specific objectives and relate content after pursuing a course in mathematics over five years of secondary schooling. Section 1 to 5, no, to 9. Section 1 to 9. I remember the previous syllabus had 10 sections. Now they've reduced it to 9. You have number theory and communication, consumer arithmetic, sets, measurement, statistics, algebra, relations, functions, and graphs. Geometry and trigonometry and vectors and matrices. So those are the nine um, sections of the new syllabus. The format of the exam. Let's see what this is about. The examination will consist of two papers. Paper 1, an objective type paper, which means um, multiple choice. And paper 2, an essay or problem solving type paper. Now, paper 1 lasts for 1 hour 30 minutes. There are 60 multiple choice items from all sections of the syllabus. And they break down each section number theory and computation, consumer arithmetic sets, measurements, statistics, algebra, relation, functions, and graphs, geometry and, measure, and trigonometry. And vectors and matrices. So those are the nine sections. So the all nine sections will be examined in section one. Sixty multiple choice items. Each mark. Each item will be allocated one mark. That's for one hour and thirty minutes. One and a half hour. Then you, you have paper two. Paper two. The the paper consists of. 10 compulsory type questions. So previously there were 11 questions. 3 in section 2. You choose 2 out of the 3. No, you don't have any choice. You have to do everything. 10 compulsory structured type questions. Number theory and computer arithmetic and, com and computer arithmetic and computation. Measurement statistics, algebra, relations, functions, and graph, investigation, let's see what's this, what's this, the investigation question may be set on any combination of objective in the syllabus, hmm. geometry and trigonometry, vectors and matrices, what I notice here that they, they have left out sets from section 2, and I uh, see that relations, functions, and graph carry 20 marks. Geometry and trigonometry also 20. 
but the others are like 9, 10 and 12 marks so there's a lot of emphasis on relational functions and graphs and also on geometry and trigonometry alright the school based assessment I'm going to look at the school based assessment by itself and see what it's about so next time